Here's a way you can use Polynom to help inspire fills. In this preset, I have a rhythm which is three bars long, just of eighth notes, and then a bar of rest at the end. And I've assigned the sounds, which is just right for the top line, and then a kick and snare pattern, which will repeat. And this plays. And then in metronome two, I have three bars of rest, followed by a bar of eighth notes. And those sounds kick, which we have kick, left, right, left, H, and I've assigned kick, snare, and two toms. Now the way you can use this to inspire fills is you can tap and hold on these sounds and shuffle and it will give you a new fill. So of course you can shuffle those again, just tap and hold on the letters and shuffle and it will mix them up. If you wanted different notes in here, you can go change sounds. So you'll notice that we've basically got the whole bar filled here with either sounds or rests. So if you wanted more sounds or fewer sounds, you can delete and replace those. So we could have a fill that was just on the snare. Say we want four snare notes and the rest rests. And then we can tap and hold and shuffle and we get a snare fill. That's a pretty cool snare fill. So of course you can then go ahead and change the rhythm in here. And we could put, for example, 16th notes in instead. And now the pattern's going to be looped twice. So if we hear this, let me go ahead and actually change this rhythm so that we just have one bar of groove followed by a bar of fill. And then it will be quicker to demonstrate. So I'll go and swipe here and delete those. So now we get a bar of groove and then a fill. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's shuffle this up. So you can see how this could inspire your creativity. If we go in here and then change the rhythm again and we change it this time to a eighth note, two eighth notes, triplets, and then 16th. So now the rate is going to increase and now if we go and change sounds, you'll notice that we haven't filled the whole pattern. So these sounds will be played and then we'll loop for these last few notes. But that means that it might be different the next time around. So this time it's different. Okay, that's pretty difficult to get your head around. Um, let's go and change this rhythm to two lots of eighth notes and two lots of sixteenths. And now I'll go and change the sounds and put in a couple of kicks and a couple of toms. And then I'm going to shuffle these up and we get this. Okay, so you can see how you can use the two metronomes. You can have a groove in metronome one followed by rest, rest in metronome two followed by a rhythm for a fill, and then we're assigning different sounds and shuffling them up.